So welcome to the Morris Federation series of uh, talks and workshops during lockdown. And today I am very pleased to introduce one of my very best friends, Melanie Barber, uh, with musician Mike Adamson. And they're going to teach us the Whitby Toes Day Waltz. Over to Melanie. Thank you, Pauline. Welcome, everybody. It's so lovely to see so many familiar faces here that I've seen occasionally during lockdown, but some of you I haven't, uh, not since Wallopers weekend last year. So such a joy to see you all um, and to see so many of you and from different countries. Wow, can't quite believe that. So what we're going to do this morning is we are going to do the Whitby Toes Day Waltz for Intermediates. Now, I do believe that some of you might be just not quite an intermediate, maybe did a beginner's workshop with Georgia back in January. So if you are struggling, then just shout and wave at me. I have got a beginner's version of this workshop. I don't intend to do that in huge detail if you need it. That would be a separate workshop. Um, but I can just say we'll leave this bit out and do this as the beginner version of it if you're struggling. So just just flag that up in either the chat or by going help um, and that will be fine. Uh, we'll break, have a little um, sort of unmute after each step to check that everybody's okay with each step. There's 10 steps and the basis of it is that it's an off the toe uh, routine. So you're dancing off, off the balls of your feet. Every step starts off the left foot, but they all have the capacity to be repeated off the right foot. Uh, and the reason I did that is because I, uh, Sam Sherry was a stickler when I learned from him that we learned every step off both feet to teach us the techniques off both feet. So, you know, it's a good idea to dance steps off both feet. Um, I have done a slight subtle change on step five because the finish of step five in the original version didn't allow you to step on your right foot. Um, so I've changed the finish for this workshop. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, it's a routine that I wrote for Whitby um, community Facebook group, the Whitby Folk Week community Facebook group back in 2016. I think I said in the original information in 2017, I've lost a year last year, I've just lost it. So I wrote it in 2016. Um, and there was a hornpipe, two hornpipes, one for beginners, one for intermediate, followed by the waltz for beginners and waltz for intermediate. Um, Pauline will be sending out a follow-up email after this workshop, and that will include a link to a brand new YouTube playlist of these steps. Um, be warned, it has the original step five in. That's the only thing that's wrong with them. And eventually I will get around to recording the, the revised step five finish. Um, but uh, let's do, I was at a dance swap yesterday and Julie, who I know is on the call here today, did a wonderful warm up. And we're really bad as clog dancers by not warming up. So I thought I'd steal her warm up. And Julie, if you're around, you might want to unmute and say, yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, that's absolutely fine, Melanie. I pinched it from someone else. So that's the way the world goes round. <laughs> Fantastic. Thank you, Julie. Okay. okay so it's very simple. Um, it just gets you warmed up. I don't need my feet now. I'll, I'll keep, no, ignore my feet. They're not, they will do some warm up. <laughs> but so if you start by just turning your head to the right, stretching it round and back the other way to the left and do that a few times just to loosen up that neck. Try and turn it a little bit further each time. I've even got Mike doing this on the seat behind me. He's doing the OAP version, obviously. <laughs> okay, let's take that into a single shoulder roll, alternate shoulders. And then let's reverse those. Oh, that's difficult, isn't it? Creaky shoulders. And then both shoulders. Include your arms in that as well, you can. Just loosen up. And then a bit of a waist twist. Okay, and then start moving your legs. Just stepping out with your legs.
and maybe some figure of eights, try standing on one foot with figure of eights. You'll see my feet wobble at this point. <laughs> and the other leg, just get those hips moving. And maybe shake those legs out, twiddle your ankles. They're very important, knees and ankles. Do a few squats to get those knees warmed up. Don't forget in clog dancing, we should never, unless it's absolutely essential, we should never have a completely straight knee. We should always have it slightly flexed. Dancing with a very straight knee is damaging to your knees. So please don't do that. And try when you're clog dancing. A lot of people wobble when they're on their toes. All you need to do, I'm gonna stand sideways here. And if you can find my feet, Maybe Pauline, could you just spotlight my feet for a minute? Um, and rather than going up on your toes, which will make you wobble, just move your center of gravity forward. Just move your body forward. And then you'll find that you can stand on the balls of your feet. And that's where your movement is. Thank you, Pauline. Um, so um, I've made the assumption with this that everybody knows what a shuffle is. So I'm doing round shuffles. So can we just do some round shuffles? Step, shuffle, step. This helps you warm up as well. And shuffle practice is one of the most important things that Sam Sherry taught me when I first started practicing. Okay. Yes, I've realised that. We're now going to do a switch of audio so you can see my feet instead of me. And um, we'll get started on the routine. Um, oh. there we go. Okay, you'll hopefully have my voice now with my feet rather than my face. Um, so, Hopefully you've all done a risk assessment. I know I'm stood on my board. If I go too far up, it's actually quite a drop off my board because I've got a folded blanket underneath it as well. Um, so please make sure you're not going to fall off a board and you have your own supply of water because there will not be a coffee break. So if you need coffee and water, go grab it or shout to your household bubble to bring you coffee. <laughs> Okay, so club ba rules basics. The assumption is that everybody here knows what, a, 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 what I mean by a basic when I'm teaching a waltz. But just in case, it is step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step. So it's one and two and three, one and two and three. Step, shuffle. One and two and three, one and two and three. And I'll say this routine is devised as a round shuffle routine. That's because that's what I learned originally. Um, I have no problem if people want to do straight shuffles or only do straight shuffles. That is not a problem. Um, but I would say try and do the round because in the waltz, especially, that timing is so nice with a round shuffle. So, first step. This is called basic brush. I put names to the steps now. Um, it is starting off the left foot. That means we're going to step onto the left foot to start. And step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, step, then step, brush, pop, catch. Sorry, put a catch on as well. So that's your. That's what we're going to do as our repeater. So it's two basics: step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step, step, then step, brush, pop, catch. So with the timing, two, three. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step, 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 brush, pop, catch. And again off the left, two, three. Step, shuffle, step, 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 shuffle, step. Brush, pop, catch. 
We're going to repeat that off the right. Two, three. Step, shove, pull, step, step. Step, shove, pull, step, step. Step, push, pop, catch. And again off the right. Two, three. One and two and three. One and two and three. One, two, three and. Okay, so we're going to repeat that four times now of the left, right, left, right. Two, three. One and two and three. One and two and three. One, two, three and basic. Basic brush. Okay, the finish is a fairly standard waltz finish in, the, in the, it's two basics and a step, brush, hop, step. And we ended up, we end up the even footed. I'll just show you, but they'll dance along with me. We're on Zoom. You're only going to hear my feet. Two, three. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, brush, hop. Even weighted so we can repeat it off the right foot if we want to. For the purposes of the workshop, we're just going to do it off the left foot. If we whiz through the whole routine, we might actually try it off the other feet. Okay, shall we try the hold, the hold step to music? I don't think people see Mike stand into the camera and give them a wave. Hello. Yay. I think if you've been to one of my workshops in the last few years, you will have met Mike and you'll know how patient he is as a workshop musician. So, nice and slowly, please. more for now to music please perfect please got it um i know for you experienced cloggers out there um doing two basics and then just one thing will uh <laughs> will do your brains in a bit to start with it did mine um but if that's all okay i'll just check the chat as well one or two people are a bit iffy right Okay, if those people at Arifia are, are brave enough to speak, we can always edit you out if you want, don't want to be filmed um, and tell me what you're struggling with. Because normally in a normal workshop situation, I can turn around and see you, but I can't in this situation. So if you need some help, just unmute yourself. Yeah, I, I think I was getting, getting the step 
right at the end, but the, the two basics after the catch seem to become too quickly for me. The music is so slow and yet the stepping is faster. So I'm not I'm not there yet. I need a bit more practice, I think. Annie, that will probably be because you're using, when you catch back, you're doing the one and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, three, catch. Mm. And you're using that hand to come back. You just have to be ready after that catch back to step straight away. Yeah. Uh, it will come with practice. If you're struggling in this situation, then just do the step brush hop and miss out the catch so that you get your basics in the right timing. And okay. when you get more confident at the step, you can bring that catch back in. So if you just try it like that for now. Thanks, okay. okay. I will. Thanks. Can you mute yourself again. Um, is anybody else got questions? Well, if uh, Mike could just play it. the video jumps or if the music jumps, then at least we'll know the full tune oh, through. Oh, that would be really helpful. Oh, Mike's not switched his original sound <laughs> on. Ah. Oh. It's the, oh, yeah. it's the stuff. He's just said you can't get the stuff nowadays. <laughs> okay, we'll do it a couple more times then. Um, and so if you are struggling with that catchback, miss the catchback out, you can put that in later. It's just using up that extra and beat, and then you're on a regular beat throughout this step. Okay? Again, off the 
right, two, three. Step, click, drop, step, click, click. Now, if you are struggling with that, um, if you're not quite at that intermediate level because you've only done a couple of workshops, then you can just do step, click, drop, step, click, drop. So that you don't have that sort of wobbling on one foot um, while you do it. So if you're struggling with it, just do the step, click, drop, step, click, drop. But let's do, I'll do the intermediate one now. And we're going to put two basics on the front. Um, we'll just do it off the left foot to start. So it's going to be step, shove, four, step, 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 shove, four, step, 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 click, drop, step, click, click. Two, three. Step, shove, four, step, 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 shove, four, step, 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 click, drop, step, click, click. And again off the left foot. Two, three. Step, shove, four, step, 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 shove, four, step, 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 click, drop, step, click, click. We're going to do it off the right foot this time. Two, three. Step, shove, four, step. Again, I realise I haven't given you said the timing, so I'll do this one with the timing. Right foot, two, three, one and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's just an even time all the way through. Okay, we're going to do that three times this time. So we're going to go left foot, right foot, left foot. Two, three. Step, shove, full step, 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 shove, full step, 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 click, drop, step, click, click. One and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Left. Okay. One well, of the things you have to remember in this step is that you're finishing, because you're stepping and you're clicking your heels, you're finishing even weighted. So your brain has to remember which foot you're going to step on. So you're going to do left, right, left, which then means the finish is off the right foot. So the finish is two basics again, stepping right, step, shove, full step, 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 shove, full step, step, and then we do step, Pause, click, click. So the timing of the finish is one and two and three, one and two and three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you've got three pauses there and, and really try and leave that gap for the pauses. Um, quite often when we have pauses in clog dancing, we fill the pause with the next bit of the step and it changes the emphasis of the dance and, and, and it's probably why our musicians tend to speed up because we've given them the next beat to speed up too. Um, so try not to do that. Uh, you can try the whole step with music, if that's okay. A beat, please. At nice steady speed. <laughs>
sitting on thumbs up or if you want to ask a question just unmute yourself i'm seeing lots of thumbs up this is brilliant yeah lots of thumbs up very good is the is the pace a bit okay for people as well yeah great okay i'll move on then if there's no other questions i shall move on that's brilliant it's very weird not having chit chat behind me. Maybe that's what we need to incorporate into Zoom workshops. A bit of tape recorded chit chat behind to go shh. <laughs> okay, this is a, a, I just call this syncopated. Um, it's, well, we'll see, I'll dance it for you. Sorry, Tan. This one. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> We were having fun yesterday because Mike, for, it's a bit of a struggle sometimes when a club dancer does a syncopated step for the musician to keep the beat of the music going. <laughs> so we were having fun with this one yesterday because we haven't done a lot of practice together during lockdown. It's that disgraceful considering we live in the same house. <laughs> If you can see 
see my face as well. I, I think of it as being twos up in the air and I actually point up in the air when I'm practicing this one to make sure that I don't land on that two. Um, let's do three of those on the trot because that's what the step is. Okay, I don't need music yet. We'll just do those. Two, three. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, brush, hop, shuffle, step, brush, hop, shuffle. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step, step. One and two and three and one and three. One. Okay. Then we're just going to put a, a standard finish on the end, the same as we did for the first step, which will be basic, basic, step, brush, hop, down. So we go back to a flat rhythm for the finish. Okay. We'll try that with some music. Are you keeping an eye on chat on your phone? You're not keeping an eye on chat on your phone, are you? No, no, no. Oh, no, I'll have a quick look at chat. I can see some new ones. Uh, we're on an A, aren't we? We're on an A, please, yes. <laughs> Yes, we can dance the ones through. Sorry, I forgot who did that chat. That was Jade. We can dance them through, Jade. Um, what I'm always conscious about in workshops is that when you always go back to the first one and dance it through, you learn the first step so well, and then the other ones you don't learn quite so well. <laughs> but I, I agree, we get, we've got three steps now, so let's pause the thought. Any questions on that syncopated step? Just unmute yourselves or give me a thumbs up if it's okay, that syncopated one. I can see thumbs up. That's brilliant. Fantastic. Okay. Let's do steps one through three then. And we're dancing with music. So just as a quick reminder, your first one is the two basics with the one step brush hop catch. And then back into two basics. So you just repeat that four times. And the standard finish of two basics. And the brush up and down. Second one was the heel click. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, shuffle, step, step. Step, click, heel, step, click, click. Repeat it three times. The finish on this comes off the right. So it's step, shuffle, step. And then you're syncopated, which we've just done. All starting on the left. Um, and we'll try and hold that speed. I will try and hold the speed for you because unlike any other workshop, I can't hear your rushing music. <laughs>
body. Would you like those three again? Yes, I can see some thumbs up. Let's do those once more then before we move on. I'll just check. check. Sorry, got another question. Oh, yes, I can dance and perform at speed. I have to confess, Sorsha, that I've never actually displayed these steps. I've never danced them in performance. But if you want to see that, I shall, I shall do them at a, what I consider a performance. I don't dance waltzes fast. I don't dance them as slow as we're doing today. But I like a waltz to be a waltz rather than, you know, a really fast dance. I think that deciphers it from um, jigs and reels and that that are faster. I like a waltz to be a waltz. So if you play that at our normal dance speed, huh? I shall attempt. This is a world first premiere. <laughs> We're just doing three. Just the three. <laughs> Um, we do it three times through 
and I add extra beats in as we go. Um, sorry, I'm just going to have a sneak look at my, yes. Yeah. Making sure I get the, the finish right because there's another swanny step later on and the finish is different. Could I have a beat, please? One, two, three, and one, two. 
into the basic. Let's just do that once more, just the finish. Two, three. Step, shuffle, step, step, tap, step, shuffle, step, step, tap, step, brush, pop, down. Okay. Shall we try the whole step to some music and then I'll see what that chat is that I've seen pop up and I'll see if there's any questions. But just do it once to music, the whole step. please you certainly can yes no I'm no I'm never gonna let you do that again that'd be so cruel wouldn't it right um does the bo whole body turn when I do a swanny no I'm that's a good question no from your waist can't actually see my waist, 
but I'm doing it from the waist down. If I move that down a bit, you might be able to see more. So you can see, if you can see the top of me as well at the moment, you can see I'm literally turning from my waist. So I'm not actually turning my whole body, literally the lower half. Um, so let's just do that again then. Let's go twice through it. We'll go twice through, we'll do both times off the left foot because uh, we've not been brave enough to change to the right foot yet. Though, if you want to change and do it off the right foot in your own homes, please feel free to. I shall stick off the left foot. suggest we do is um, we just do the last two steps so we well no let's do all four of them to, up to there let's go for it so we've got the basic brush heel click syncopated swanny all off the left foot and we'll see how we get on and hopefully we'll still get the next I'd like to get the next couple of steps into this session then we've got the majority of the workshop the routine done <clears throat> yes, please. Yes.
everybody. Are we all right to move on? Yep. Excellent. Okay. I'm sneaking double shuffles in on this one. Um, I like a nice double shuffle. But it's not a hopping double shuffle. <laughs> so, I'll show you this one. Please, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> normal workshop <laughs> Just, it's not just. Um, you're going to do it off the right foot. 
so it's a real experience um, so right foot finish two three step shuffle shuffle step shuffle shuffle step push up down okay and the timing throughout is one and two and three one and two and three one and two and three and one and two and three so it's a very regular time throughout this step let's try it to some music Indeed. And it's an eight, one again please sorry yes we certainly can it's a bit of a wobbly one isn't it if you're not used to doing double shuffles yes Claire we can do them all a little bit faster oh Mandy Bob I've no idea on either of those well, thank you very much for set, for asking. <laughs> okay, um, let's do that step once more, and then we'll do all five steps up to now a tad faster, but not too much faster, because I'm a bit of a stickler that you need to be able to do steps slowly in order to do them fast, and I kind of think when you do them too fast to start with, you're more likely to fudge them, um, the, the slightly more difficult bits. But we will do it a bit faster, but not too much for those people that are struggling with the speed. I'll try to get the right balance for you. So this one at the slow speed again to start with. <laughs> issue for dancing them very slowly.
thumbs up. I'll just check this one. Uh, timing of the syncopated. Yes, I can do that. Sorry, just get rid of that chat. Timing of the syncopated. One and two and three. One and two and three. One and three and one and two and three and. So when you're doing your syncopated bit, one and two's up in the air. Two and three and. One and two and three and. Is that okay? I forgot who asked that. Um, Kay. Was that okay? Brilliant. Thanks, Kay. Okay, I'm going to move on to the next step, which is Swannies again, you'll be pleased to know. Um, this was, I hold my hand up, I stole this step from Two Step with their permission. So I don't know whether that's stealing, um, if I've got their permission. Um, but I was running out of inspiration and I really like this step when they dance it. If you dance in a couple, or in, in three or four, you can, if you alternately start off different feet, you'll meet each other at different points in the step. It won't be obvious with me dancing this by myself. And this is one that I might wobble over on, so if I do, just laugh. <laughs> okay, so, um, yeah, I'll dance it through. I'll dance it through a tad quicker, if I may, hon. <laughs> Um, if you're struggling on going 
180 degrees and back a quarter but you can move on your swannies but not quite as far as you as you need to then just do a quarter turn so you could do just basic basic quarter turn stay there basic basic quarter stay as yet to do the whole 180 degrees just take it round a quarter and then build it up as and when you're more comfortable doing it uh, same applies with your catchbacks if you haven't got your catchbacks in yet make them a plain swanny you know build yourself up gradually don't beat yourself up about not being able to do turning or do a catchback because these are all techniques that we learn along the way as club dancers and when they might seem simple to me now easy to me I shouldn't say simple there's nothing simple about clog dancing it might be easy to me but i had to learn them once and it takes time to learn that balance so don't beat yourself up about it just build all these things in gradually okay let's try that step to some music then uh, we're on the b please <laughs> And then we'll build these ones on the front of it. But we'll make sure we get all the steps. And there's YouTube. Probably will send the link out to the YouTube. So, uh, and there's, the, there's a link as well to a revised notation. Because I don't know whether you sent the notation out, Pauline. You didn't, did you? Oh, that's good. <laughs> I, got, I put a memoir on the front of the notation. And I got the steps in the wrong order. <laughs> right, okay. So, we have got brush basic. So you've got two basics brush, two basics brush, heel clip, uh, um, and a syncopated one and two and three and. Remember that timing. I say that timing in my head uh, to make sure I get it. Um, swanny, going back to the basic swanny catch back and the basic tap catch back. Double shuffles, swanny turn. I will stick at this slower speed and then what we'll do after if we still have a few minutes to spare we could do it a bit faster so we'll do it at the two speeds but not at the same time <laughs>
minutes left. Do you want to go through it at a slightly faster what? pace? Yeah? Okay. We can do it.